Morning, brother. Mm. Morning, sis. Anything for breakfast? This is the last of the bread. How? It's two days till week's end. Well, it was a light ration this week, and I couldn't pocket as much on the trails as I wanted. Mm. Council must be starting their winter preparations early. They haven't spoken of it to me in any of their meetings. Why now, I wonder? You know, we could have a longer growing season if we got our seed from the Golden Vale. Ah, too expensive this time of year. That's what the council said last spring. I know, I know, but they know what they're doing. Nothing they do is without reason. We'll just have to see what you pick up on the trail today. (gasps) But brother, I'd never break the rationing edict. You'd rat me out like when we were kids. That was one time, and it was for your own good. Besides. I've seen the lot you run with. They're bound for trouble. They're a lot more fun than the scribblers at the Great Hall. Don't remind me. You should come ranging with us sometime. Pull your head out of those dusty old books. But sister, you'd leave me in the forest like when we were kids. That was one time, and it was for your own good. (laughs) (laughs) I don't want to work today. Me either. River Day? But I'm still going. I'm needed for some important deliberations in the Great Hall today. Think they'll make a proclamation soon? Uh Uh-uh. You know I can't say. But I'm your sis. Twin sis at that. Don't make me use my fearsome red bear style. (laughs) (laughs) Come back here. All right, all right. I can tell you they're planning something big. (gasps) Ancestors! The big fancy head clerk knows they're planning something big. What an honor it must be to serve. Are those the jokes your hunter friends find so funny? Nah, they're way harder on you than I am. You should hear what they have to say about that dangly little mustache. Sister, it's all the fashion in Span, and it's coming in fine. Elder Marta says it makes me look mature. Hans, it's just fooling. And I saw how that Dockmaster's daughter looked at you last shipping day. Kitzel! Besides, I heard Elder Marta's making a new edict. How'd you hear about that? It's true, then. Well, you can't go jumping at every brush elf. Guess I'm the brains of the family after all. Maybe they should make me head scribe. Maybe you're too nosy for your own good? Ugh, fine. Guess I'll head to the lodge. Go do your good deeds for the council. But you know what my hunter pals would say? What? That you're dancing like a witch on elf strings up there. Love you, Kitzel. Love you, hon. Ah! A witch on elf strings. That sister of yours. Now we know where the brains of the family went, eh? But enough of that sap. You're glossing over all the important parts. That was the day my boat was stolen by those dastardly... Your boat was not that important. (gasps) How dare you? It's an heirloom. You got it back. You owe that boat your life, woman. Well, actually, you can't say his boat had nothing to do with it. Everyone shut up! Now, the only reason I paid for the first round is so I could tell my story first. Every year I go last, and I won't have it. I'm putting my foot down. That's your fist. Shut up! Cradle your drinks, and listen up, because this is the tale of how I lost my precious Gertrude. Captain, how much longer are we going to dawdle on this stretch of river? Has the wind died? Are your sails torn? Ah, quit your pestering, woman. Ever since I picked you up in Span, you've been barking in my ear. Now... As to why we are sitting here instead of sailing towards wherever it is you need getting to, we seem to be stuck. Stuck? Stuck! I don't understand. Stuck, blasted! Like a blue eel in a blasted fisherman's net. We're caught on some sort of device. Ahoy! You seem to have hit a snag in the river. Oh, my ancestors. What do you want, ruffian? I've got nothing worth your time. Be off. Ah, brother, why the harsh words? All I want is to help a new friend out of a bind, and in return receive ample recompense for my services. Well, you're a bit out of luck, brother. 
lo and behold, I got no uh, recompense in the hole. I ain't got nothing but my ship and a lonely old passenger. Thank you for your offer, but we can handle this alone. We're fine. Fine? We've been stuck for over an hour. Ancestors, woman. Can't you see they mean to commandeer my sweet Gertrude? These aren't merchants out plying their trade. These outlaws are rotten to the core. I can tell. River outlaws? With clothes and kit like that? I think not. Well, excuse me, classicist. Oh, if only your eyes had been this sharp when you were supposed to keep watch. My, my, my. This is a lovely boat. Woods, woes. Who gave you permission to board my Gertrude? <laughs> permission? Does the fire cat need permission when it overtakes its prey? Do elves need permission to flit about as they please? These rivers are mine, old man. Well, that was unsettling. Ah. <clears throat> I'll give you one warning. Get off my boat. That's it? No wordplay, just get off my boat? And here I thought you river folk were full of words. By the ancestors, woman, whose side are you on? Speak to me like that again and I'll throw you in the water with this lot. Ever the bargain maker. How many enemies are you planning to make on this trip? Well, come on then. I'll take on all of you. No one has faced my water duck school and lived to tell the tale. <laughs> Water duck school? <laughs> Boys, we've got a real quack. Aye, and there's more where that came from, you weak pile of rags. <laughs> oh, I want this boat. Boys. Oh, no, get it. And with a sweep of my oar, I cracked two of them over the edge. The captain came at me with his hook axe, and I parried him aside. I wrangled another one of them in a headlock, hurling him around into the others, charging at me. As I gathered my strength to pull off my infamous legs hidden by water technique. What in the name of the ancestors are you talking about? They trounced you in the first two minutes. Who is telling this story, huh? Someone who obviously has had a few too many and is muddling up a perfectly good story. <laughs> ah, cantankerous old bat. Fine. Water duck school. Ah, more like wet noodle school. I, I, I want a refund. Refund? Refund? Well, you wouldn't need a refund if you hadn't stood there mumbling and waving your hands all over that blasted book of yours. Now we're lost at the edge of the Blackwood, elves probably lurking about, and my precious Gertrude in the hands of those black-hearted fiends. I was trying to help until you threw one of those brigands at me. Well, you looked like a sturdy woman to me. Is that a compliment or an insult? Why me? Why me, Gertrude? My sweet, sturdy, reliable Gertrude. Oh, there, there, wee babby. Quit your whining. It's a boat. You'll find another. You don't understand. That boat's been with me since I was a deckhand. Oh, you're young still. Relatively. Anyway, there are other boats on the river. I won her off my old captain in a game of cogs. I was too young to beat old Bob of the Shoals in a duel, and I knew he was a terrible gambler, so I, you know... All right, I don't need to know everything about this boat. How dare you make light of my pain? My parting from dear Gertrude is a true tragedy. You must answer for it. On the field of errantry. Come at me, brother. You... You blocked my water duck school? Three times? Beginner's luck? <laughs> Beginner's luck? From an old bag like yourself? You're all right, you old scribbler. You've reminded me what a good laugh can do for the spirits anyway. And who knows? Maybe you're right. Ancestors willing there may be a way to get Gertrude back after all. Yes, that is what I said. Now come on, let's find a shelter. Find some sticks, too. Uh, there's a cave around here. What was that my man used to say? Something we moss could right just today. head for that smoke over there. 
Looks like a village, and not far off. Oh, what luck! Follow me, classicist. Every road changes, but this one might lead to a fast friendship. Wonderful. So the boat's name is Gertrude? And it's his. Orland's right. We do know where the brains went in the family. I swear, on my ancestors, that's the last interruption I'll tolerate tonight. I'm about to tell you all about how we found our way to this quiet little village, how we found Gertrude again, and how I won her back through skill and strength of arms. Well, if we can't interrupt anymore, then we're going to sit here listening quite a while. A fair point's a fair point. Go on, top off your wine or ale or what have you, and may that quiet you down. For this year, I'll tell the tale like it deserves to be told. Ah, good. The truth at last. So hurry back. And listen well to the tale of Hunter's Bay. Thank you for listening to The Tale of Hunter's Bay, an original audio drama set in the Blackwood and produced by the Mythic Gazetteer, your guide to bright new worlds. Episode 1, Our Tale Begins, was written by Alex Goodman, Eli Kurtz, and Jeff Newman, and features the voice talent of Kate Booth, Elise Dawson, Alex Goodman, Eli Kurtz, and Arnie Parrott. Our theme song is composed and performed by Arnie Parrott. He can be reached at atptunes.com. Additional sound effects and music are sourced from Soundly. Find out more at getsoundly.com. Special thanks to Misdirected Mark Productions for broadcasting our tale. To tell your own tales in the Blackwood, download a playtest copy of Errant Deeds, Tall Tales in the Blackwood on drivethroughrpg.com or on itch.io. Now, go forth, Errants, and walk the way's margin for yourselves. Thank you.